Hello everyone, hope you're well. Welcome back to Most Amazing Top 10. What's my name? My name is Danny Burke and today's video is the Top 10 Scary Haunted Bridges. It seems like everything can be haunted these days. There's the obvious ones like dolls or rooms, but even bridges have now gained reputations for their links to the paranormal or supernatural. Would you dare cross any of the ones on this list? Let's find out as we get into our number 10 and we have the Colville Covered Bridge. In Bourbon County, Kentucky lies the Colville Covered Bridge. It took decades for it to be built before being opened to traffic in 2001. Now in the years since then, the bridge has earned a reputation as perhaps the most haunted in the whole of Kentucky. According to the legend, during the 1930s, there were two teenagers driving home from their school prom. They lost control on the car while on top of that bridge and then plunged into the creek below, killing them. Locals say that on a clear night, you can still see the car's headlights shining back up from the water below. Moving on to number nine now, we have the airtight bridge. The story around this Illinois bridge goes back to 1980 when the local sheriff's department discovered the dead body of an unidentified woman floating in the river under the bridge. Her hands had been removed and there was no way to identify the victim until technology improved in 1992. They identified her as 26 year old Diana Marie Riordan Small. Despite this, the case was cold and they were unable to find her killer. Those who are interested in the story have visited this bridge and report a strange sense of stillness in the air. That's how it got its name as the Airtight Bridge. At number eight now, we have the Old Finch Road. This bridge in Toronto has has a whole bunch of urban legends surrounding it. It said that a girl was brutally murdered on the bridge on her birthday. If you go there and sing happy birthday near the bridge on the girl's birthday, you'll apparently hear her screaming in the distance. And if you're really lucky, or perhaps unlucky, she may even make an appearance. Coming at number seven now, we have the Donkey Lady. This bridge in San Antonio, Texas has a very strange story attached to it, the tale of the Donkey Lady. According to locals, in the 1950s, a young woman was horribly disfigured by a fire. Her fingers had fused together, creating stumps that apparently looked like hooves. She eventually lost her mind and ran away into the creek where this bridge is and disappeared forever. Locals say that she never really went away though. It's believed that if you park your car in the middle of the bridge at night and turn your lights off, the donkey lady will appear. Next up at number six now, we have Dunvegan Bridge. This bridge in Alberta, Canada was completed in 1960 and strange occurrences began not long after. That winter, two men were driving through the valley on a dark snowy night. When they reached the middle of the bridge, they apparently saw a woman just standing there in the snow. They asked if she was okay, but got no response. When they looked back to the bridge later, she had disappeared. Determined to see her again, the two returned on several more nights and brought friends. They saw her again picking berries on a hill near the bridge and decided she must be a ghost. Although many people doubted them, visitors to the bridge swear they see her even to this day. Who she is or why she is there is still being debated. Moving on to number five now, we have the Overton Bridge. This bridge is in Western Bartonshire in Scotland. It was completed in 1895. Things seemed quite normal for a while, but then in the 1950s, something very strange started happening. At least once a year, random dogs will jump off the side of the bridge, often to their deaths. Some say this is evidence of the paranormal. All that's been determined is that the dogs mostly jump from the same side of the bridge in clear weather and often have long snouts. Next up at number four now, we have the Old Alton Bridge. This bridge in Northern Texas was built in 18. 84. To the locals though, it's always been referred to as Goatman's Bridge, as it's believed that a demonic goat man lives under the bridge. They say if you cross the bridge at night without headlights, the goat man will be waiting for you on the other side. Visitors have reported being touched, grabbed, and even having rocks thrown at them by the goat man. At number three now, we have Jackson Ford Bridge. This bridge in Alabama is known to many of the students who attend the nearby university. Over the years, it's earned the simple nickname of Ghost Bridge. It was closed in 1996 and has since fallen into a state of disrepair. Stories say that slaves were hung there centuries ago and that their spirits now haunt the bridge. Students have told tales that involve car, boating and biking accidents on the bridge. It gets even more disturbing with other stories of murder, child abuse and even UFO abductions. Next up at number two now we have Hell's Bridge. This bridge can be found deep in the forest of Michigan. Legend says that in the mid 19th century an old man called Elias Frisky went on a murderous rampage killing several children. Before his execution, he blamed it all on the demons that made him do it. Visitors say those demons still haunt the bridge to this day. They say they've heard children both laughing and then screaming, and even their footsteps getting louder from behind. And finally, number one now, we have the haunted Peckforton Bridge. This bridge in Cheshire, England was built in the 1950s and built up quite the reputation over the years. This is mainly due to the nearby Peckforton Castle, which some say is one of the most haunted in the country. It's said that if you walk under the bridge, 
bridge at night and keep your eyes straight ahead, the ghost of one of the castle's former servants will appear. What's even more creepy is the belief that anyone who sees this ghost will be dead within a year. Maybe not one to visit them. All right, guys, which one of those did you find the most scary? Do you have any scary bridges near you? Should I go and check them out? Should I do a part two to this video? Let me know in the comments section. Thank you, as always, for watching. My name is Danny Burke, and I will see you all in the next video. <laughs>